it's a moving story from his uh, humble beginnings to financial triumph, but the peculiar and unique feature is the dedication of his financial triumphs to civic virtue. He was a quiet man, but one who commanded a great deal of respect, but he didn't try to do things by himself at all. And Dallas was a very small city in those days, and uh, those people knew each other. And the people who had um, money to give for the right cause uh, got together and helped get this thing started. Uh, and he was interested in the kind of quality of life issues that undergird a strong economy and a good quality of life for all people in Dallas. It is elevating the quality and the dignity of, of human life that is probably the unifying thread through the various domains in which the Hobbit Cell Foundation uh, provides support. To seek out partners in the community within the broadest sense of the word uh, to solve problems together. And I think that's what he believed deeply in, putting out seeds of opportunity. Not everything is gonna you know, work out perfectly. Don't be afraid to fail. I mean, it says a lot about his own philosophy of life. And the net effect is that his influence was spread not merely in technical medical matters, but also in the broad culture of Dallas. His idea, I think, was that the institutions that could build greatness for the community, not just short term, but long term, would be the things that he and ultimately his foundation would want to invest the most in. Well, Mr. Hobblesell and Dr. Carey started Southwestern Medical Foundation before Hobblesell Foundation was established. And we've always had a very, very close relationship. He uh, donated land on Harry Hines Boulevard. The ambition to accomplish something really important in launching what was initially this small, private Southwestern Medical College. This was the beginning of what was an enormous expansion, not merely of physical facilities, but intellectual facilities, culminating in six Nobel Prizes. Early on, the school made a big commitment to support people like Goldstein and Brown in very basic research that did not have a promise of immediate payoff in terms of clinical advancement, but which had a long-term prospect of perhaps revolutionizing the field of medicine. I have been extraordinarily impressed and grateful for the generosity of the Dallas community. And I think the Hoplet Cell Foundation is a wonderful example of that enabling generosity. This is unprecedented and frankly at a level that I have not experienced previously. We prefer doing things that are uh, significant, that move the needle, that are transformative and that really make, make a difference. So Mr. Hobbitzell's priorities have remained our priorities even to this day. It's also about um, how you take uh, an idea of great um, importance to a city and make it a reality. And the people who have won the Sprague Award are people like Hobbitzell and Hobbitzell Foundation who have left a really profound mark.